I'm Cami McBride, and I'm author of The Herbal Kitchen, and I'm here at Mountain Rose Herbs, and I'm working, we're working on just finding all these beautiful and creative ways to layer herbs into your everyday life, and we're going to make herbal waters right now. And I love the herbal waters because it's one of the most simple ways to get herb into something that you already do every day. You already drink water, right? And this is also another great way to start to introduce you know, those like eye-rolling family members or those non-compliant family members that aren't quite into that herbal thing that you're doing. If you start creating a refreshment station, a hydration sta station, a place in your kitchen, a central place in your kitchen where you have beautiful teas and garnished waters ready to drink every day, pretty soon they're gonna be like, well, where's, where's the water? Where's the herb water? And it's a great way to introduce new people in a very, uh, you know, they don't have to do loose tea or drink tea that tastes bitter. They're gonna, they're gonna be drinking something that has tea, herbs, and also a fr fruit that they're familiar with. So this is a great uh, way to introduce people to your, the whole herbal world that you love so much. So we're gonna make three herbal waters. And one thing I wanna say is that you don't have to be recipe dependent. So in my book, I have 14 chapters. And all, every one of those chapters is about getting herbs into, layering herbs into your everyday life. And so I have an entire chapter on herbal waters, but I wanna say through, that really it's not about being recipe dependent. Um, it's about using what you have at your farmer's market, what food and fruit you have, what herb and fruit you have that's, that's ripe or growing where you are, right? It's, it doesn't have to be this combination, but I, I have a couple combinations that I've done over the years that are crowd pleasers, and so I wanna share those with you. Okay, so the first one, so this is really simple, so get, pay attention. <laughs> um, the first one is so simple, um, and it's elderflower and lime. And this, this recipe, one time I had, I had a bunch of elderflower tea made up, and I had a neighbor stop by, and she brought a bag, huge bag of limes, and I was like, hmm, what can we do with that? And so this elder, that's how this elderflower lime recipe was created, and it is so delicious. Now, the other thing about the herbal waters is there's no ratio or proportion. You know how like when you make tea, it's like this much? Your waters can be just like as simple as just like a few garnishes, right? And just like pinches of fresh herb, pinches of dried herb, or you can put a lot in. It really is a personal preference, kind of flavor thing. Visual, it's also very visual. Um, and so there isn't a proportion. So I'm gonna invite you to just, this is a place where you can play. There's no right way here, okay? Don't you love that part of when herbal medicine is like that? Um, and so I'm just gonna throw a bunch of sliced limes in here and this, instead of just drink, drinking plain water, now you're putting all the vitamins and the minerals that are in the herbs and the fruit, super hydrating. And it just, so, yep, we're gonna put the elderflower, elderflower. This is a great drink for summer. Okay, so you just get your herbs and your fruit in there, shake it up a bit and there you go. Just let that infuse. I usually, if I'm having a party or if I'm having guests over, I'll let the herbal waters infuse for a couple hours and then they're, they're ready to go. And you can just pour that, have a strainer out and you can just pour that through a strainer. And this is so good for summertime, super cooling, calming and, and so delicious. And so the other one that is just really amazing, I have a lot of evergreen trees where I live. And so you can use um, your fir, your cedar, pine, and you get these fresh. You can break them up like that, or you can put sprigs. Like people, people like sprigs. People will be more curious if they see the sprigs in there. And part of what you're trying to do is you know, evoke a sense of curiosity and wonder and like, what is that drink, <laughs> right? So you're gonna put your lemon in there. And this is so simple yet elegant. When people, when you garnish your drinks, people feel kind of, kind of taken care of, like you've done something special for them and it only takes like a minute, right? So again, you just kind of shake it up. And that's, that's yummy, that's a yummy one. Okay, 
And then, let's see, we've got this one. These recipes are, I'm from a valley where uh, it's full of stone fruit and peaches are one of my, they're the fruit, that's, they've, I've been eating peaches since I was born. There's a, there's a lot of peach trees where I live. So you'll see in the herbal kitchen, there are a lot of recipes with stone fruit and peaches. But again, what do you have where you live? What's your fruit? What's the fruit that just, that you love and that grows near you do, right? And so the lemon balm is, another really simple herb to grow. And you can also get it dried. You can use fresh or dried herbs this way. Okay. And yeah. Get your peaches in there. This is so yummy. And again, this is just a, a, a simple way, like if you're having a gathering or a party and you can make two or three herb waters and it's so, it's, it's not intimidating. You know, again, a lot of people are intimidated by tea and all the different herbal medicines, but this is a great way to get people started. And um, you're really bringing beauty and curiosity and just all these wonderful colors and you're infusing them into something that you already do. You already drink water and yeah, so again, th this is just a complete starting place. There's the, en the, the variations on this is just, it's really endless and it's so much fun. And this is something that you, let, you really get the kids in on, right? So you have the kids help make the herb water. So my son now, he's totally trained. When we're getting ready for dinner or if we, especially if we have guests coming over, he is all about like, he gets the herb, he does the herb water. You know, he'll go to the garden, pick a few sprigs of lemon balm or passion flower or rose petals and then we'll get whatever fruits in season. You know, it could be the fall melons or it could be the spring fruits. Um, and you just, you just go for it. So here's super simple herb waters and I hope you have some fun with this.